Hello everybody. Today we're going to see how I draw a Merry Marauder. So first I'm going to sketch out my figure, what I want to draw. I'm going to do it really light. And that's what I want the light pencil for. You can do this with any pencil, but uh, it's just going to give me a a rough shape of what I want to do. Make sure I put everything in the right place. Get everything ready for where it's going to be. And that's all I really need, just a quick rough idea. To make sure I have everything in the right place. So I'm going to move on to a Sharpie. You could stick with a pencil if you'd like to start drawing darker and uh, here we go. So first I'm going to draw two circles for the eyes. Then I'm going to draw the mouth. And the little frowny face. Inside that circle, or Shape. I'm going to draw the inside of the mouth. So now I'm going to go ahead and draw the face, or the head, uh, from a big U like that. And it's okay if yours doesn't come out like this, because we're all going to make them our own. And you know what, this is probably not going to come out the way I expect either, but you know what, that's the fun of it, just getting to draw what you want. So that one I just did straight across from that U, and he has kind of a, a icing around his head, so I'm going to go ahead and draw a little bit more of the icing around. I kind of make it a little squiggly because it's icing, it's not straight. And then I'm going to go ahead and draw the top of the head. another small U, or upside down U, and that'll give us that. And he has a little bit of icing underneath too, so I'm going to go ahead and trace around, almost like a little beard, because it goes back behind his head all the way around, so, but that'll give us the impression of that. So now I'm going to go ahead and put a bow tie on him, drawing a circle, and then two more on the sides right here. There's his happy little bow tie. Oh, also, I can't forget the eyebrows. So I'm going to draw little slants right here above the eye. Because he's angry. Which is kind of crazy. But hey, it's okay to be angry sometimes, right? It just depends on what you do with it. So now, I'm going to go ahead and give him his little uh, bandolier across. And I'm going to start with a line here and then I'm going to start from uh, the first line I did and go across where his belly is going to be. So I'm going to say it's going to be about right here and just kind of bring it on up to that one. And I'm going to extend it a little bit more and draw another line right parallel with that one. Parallel means going the same way, right? Okay. And I'm going to come back to the uh, details on that in a bit. So for now, I'm just going to leave that like it is. So now I'm going to give him the rest of his body. And I'm going to draw a line from here to here, which is going to be the sides of his big old belly, right? So there's one there. And I'm going to kind of guess uh, where this one is because he's going to have a little... Well, here, let's go ahead and do that. He's got a little bit of a shoulder holster right there. So I'm going to draw that. And that'll give me almost like a tooth. And that'll give me the edge of where I want to put the rest of this belly. So I'm going to bring, I'm going to connect those with another line like that. And that'll give me that edge. And he has a couple of buttons underneath here. So I'm going to go ahead and draw one underneath here like that. Just half, so it'll look like it's covered up by that. And then I'll do the full one right here. And I'm going to draw the bottom of his belly. All crazy wackadoo like that. Then I'm going to do his belt, and so I'm going to extend, I'm going to draw another line underneath like that, and bring it up, 
connect that right there. Again, it's got some crazy lines on it, but we're going to come back to that in a second. I'm going to do all that at once. So now I'm going to draw his arms. So I'm going to give him a line from here to here, and then do the other side of his arm from here to here. And I'm going to put an edge there so I know where that is. Then I'm going to give him his hands. So I'm going to draw one line off to the edge like this, and that's kind of his thumb, like that. He's going to be making a fist. And so I'm going to draw another line come across like that, and that'll be this part of the hand. So then I'm going to take this knuckle, this, this finger going across, and draw a little loopy like that. I'm going to do another one like that, and one more to connect up to here. And that'll be his hand. And let's see, I'm going to draw a cross right here, and then we'll come back to his uh, little details of his gingerbread uh, arm right there in a second. So, I'm going to do the same thing on this side, and I'm going to draw a line from here to here, and that's his arm, and I'm going to draw another one here, and connect it here, and you know what, it doesn't look exactly the same, but that's okay, you do it how you want to do it. And I'm going to draw one line down here and one like this because he's got those little uh, indicator on the side. So that's what that's for. And then I'm going to do his hand just like I did the other one. So I'm going to curve it around like this. And then I'm going to draw this part right here, which is that. And then finger around again. So I'm going to loop it around. Do one more loop and then connect it there. So I'm going to connect to there. And there's his hands. So now let's give him some legs. Uh, legs we're not going to do too much because he's got boots, so we just need to give him a little bit of a leg and a little bit of a leg there. So I'm going to do a small little V right there to connect that, and then you're going to see Y in a second. So there's a V in the middle, and then I'm going to give him his boots. So he's got the shin protectors right here, uh, and then there's the boots. So I'm going to give him a little bit of a weird shape here just hear me out so I tell you what let's draw a line here draw a line there and that'll be the top of the shin protector and we're going to draw a line there and there and there and there then connect those and then we're going to draw the uh, the extended shin protector we're going to go up over to the side see how it's not quite there then we're going to connect that bring it over down and like that. So we're gonna do the same thing over here. We're gonna draw lines right here, up, over, out, and down. So now we're gonna go ahead and finish that since that's gotta connect. And I like to give him a little bit of squiggly right there because that's his all pants. They're all crazy and bent like everybody else's. So now we gotta give him his shoes. So we're gonna extend it down like this. Go ahead and do the other side, extend it down like that. And we're going to bring his, his toes like this out and down, this out and down. Then we're going to connect those to the bottom of the shoe. And all these troopers have uh, treads on their shoes, so I'm going to go out and down, out and down. And then I'm going to draw like a bricks in so many words. It's going to go up and down and up and down. So I'm going to go across, up, down, cross, or I'm sorry, down, across, up, down, cross, up, down, cross, up, down, and like that. So it doesn't have to be exact. It's just, like I said, almost like bricks. Cross and down, cross and down, or up. You know what I mean. And there you go. So now, what I'm going to do is get different kind of sharpie a little bit thinner one and I'm gonna draw a little bit more details because he's got some fun uh, gingerbread coloring to him so he's got these these crazy up and down Ooh, that pen's not working Let me get a better one this icing coloring and it's kind of up and down and up and down kind of a wavy line then you're gonna do the same thing right above it or below depends on how yours looks and I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, kind of wavy until it hit the other side, then repeat that line right above it. Okay, 
Now, I want to give him the same thing on his belt. It's kind of a... Going to start here in the middle and go up. And don't go all the way down, just the middle. Just stick to the middle like that. And it might not look perfect, but again, this is going to be uh, something you can color in or just leave like it is. This is your drawing. This is how I draw. You draw how you draw. And you're going to repeat that line right underneath. And see how it's just kind of in there? So we have to do one more on his leg. Again, just wavy to connect. And this time I'm going underneath because I did a little bit too high there. So this time I have more room down here. So I'm going to go underneath and repeat that line. Parallel. That's our word of the day, parallel. And I'm going to do another one on this side. I forgot it was over here. So since I'm here, I'm just going to draw that line across. Draw that line across. And wavy inside. Makes me want some gingerbread cookie right now. Okay, and there's the line there. And I'm going to go ahead and add his stripes to his bandolier here. Bandolier is a belt that you wear across your chest that holds weapons, bullets, whatever you need to survive in Fortnite, right? And there you go. And now, uh, you color it how you want. You do what you would like. I'm going to go ahead and finish this up and show you the coloring I did. And we have our Merry Marauder. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more adventures of how I draw. Plus, don't forget to hit that notification button to be updated about each new video.